Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of The Witcher 3. Now, as you can tell, I have some new armor on, and we are no longer in, uh, what was it, the Baron's castle, whatever the hell, where we were last episode, basically. So for those of you that don't know, I live streamed the last episode because I wanted to go back to White Orchard and do some side missions, level up, all that stuff. Get the full Witcher experience. And that's exactly what I've done. Um, I did a little bit during the stream and some of it off screen as well. But if you can see here, all of these, most of these have been cleared out. There's been a couple that I haven't gotten to really. Um, there was a, a ghoul nest over here that I couldn't clear out because I didn't have the stuff to make a bomb. And then I still got two question marks left uh, that I haven't discovered yet. So. so during this episode, I thought, let me finish clearing out the rest of White Orchard. I might even learn how to play, what is it, Gwent? There's a game, game in here called Gwent that y'all said I should learn. And then once we're done with White Orchard, I think we'll hop back onto the main story just a little bit. And then probably next stream, do some more side missions, stuff like that in the next city over, uh, which is No Man's Land, or uh, Zima. So I hope that sounds good to y'all. I'm excited, hope you guys are too. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, it would really help out the channel. All right, so I don't have any of the stuff to make the bomb to go clear out this nest yet. So I'd say, let's just go see what we have yet to discover over here. So let's start off um, here, why not? Oh, another thing I gotta show you guys. I have a viper sword now. Look at this. So I ended up, I think there was a, uh, a blacksmith or weaponsmith, whatever you like to call it, in the Nilf Guardian. <laughs> Niffle Guardian. <laughs> I know you guys are making fun of me because I said that. Uh, the, the Niffle Guardian site. Um, so I got a viper uh, steel sword now. I need to get a new silver sword. I don't know where to find silver swords. So all I have are steel swords. And uh, obviously I'm level four now, so I do have some more uh, skills acquired now, and I figured out what to do with the mutagens. So yeah. Looking, looking pretty good, I feel like. I feel I'm pretty good, for sure. And I do want some new armor. I don't know exactly. Let me know what's the best first armor to get and where to get it and how to get it. Let me know. I don't I don't know if there's any good armor in White Orchard. Okay, well, let's go ahead and head over to the undiscovered location. Where's Roach? You guys told me that Roach is a female. Crazy. Give me up. Oh, and I added, I know I've done a lot of research. A lot of research. <laughs> I'm really invested now, guys. Um, I know I can upgrade my horse, add saddlebags, stuff like that, and they always they said to keep a trophy on the on the horse. So I have the Griffin trophy still, so I was like, why not just put that on there? It gives me a bonus. So yeah, I've done I've been doing a lot of research. I feel like I'm getting better. Um my combat I feel like it's a lot better. But I guess you guys will be the judge of that. Alright, so it looks like we got another one of these. Places of power. I don't know what these are called, but oh, oh my god, that's a fat ass bear, bro, bro. Oh my god, you are big, sir. Burn. and raw meats. Let's go ahead and eat some stuffs. Let's draw this shit. And new ability points. All right. So that's another location down. We got one more to go here. And then I gotta figure out how to make, uh, I need some ingredients to make these, these bombs. I think I need like salt and some other shit. But maybe we can go to the herbalist and hopefully she'll have it. Here we are. Off. Oh. Oh, 
we got people this time. Oh! Shit. Alright, I'm gonna go for the archers first. Bitch. Oh shit, that's an axe, that's an axe, that's an axe. Let's end this. Hell yeah. Alright. We got crowns. Got some swords that we can sell. Or dismantle. And we got hardened leather. Okay. Looking good. Let's loot the camp. Cow's milk. Alchemist powder. String. A diagram. Harpy. What is that? Devil's puffball. And some armor. Looking good. I'm glad we're picking up some water or some food along the way. I need that food. Oh, that's a light. Alrighty, so I guess that is everything. I know there's some things still colored in. I do want to come back here and destroy this nest. So let me see if I can make any bombs. I don't think I can. I need salt. Salt and pepper. I think this is the one. This I need the grape shot one. Yeah, I need this cal calcium and salt, and pepper. Okay, let's go to the herbal. Would the herbalist have it? Let's check her out first, and then if not, then we'll go to the merchant or something. Here we go. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to her yes. since uh, that girl died. Where's Lena? Something happened? She passed away. Soon after you'd left. You resent my choice. I understand. But believe me, my potions wouldn't have helped. Alas, I must take your word for it. Don't be mad at me. What's your story, girl? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. All right. Got any herbs? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Let me see here. Yes, she has salt. She has everything I need. Sweet. Alrighty. How much money do we have? 350. I need two. 50. Alright. And then I need one. Three of this, I believe. Ugh, money. Alright. Listen. Ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Ooh, experience points. Thank you. And crowns. How nice. Alrighty, let's make this bomb shall we 
Oh, I bought too much, but it's fine. <laughs> I misjudged what we needed, but it's fine. Uh, okay, craft. There we go. And then let's go ahead to the gold's nest and destroy it. So fast, Roach. Here we are, guys. That guy. All right, let's pull this shit up. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. All right. Good shit. Let's. Go ahead and draw this. Alright, I think we are done here. Now, I think we can head to the inn. I think you guys said I can Let's learn go. how to play Gwent there. We shall see. Let Let's head in that so direction. Alrighty, you guys, so I've been lurking around this tavern for a good while now, meditated a couple times, and I found these guys here playing it, but I can't even join them or anything, so I think I missed my opportunity once I probably left White Orchard, but um, there is another location, obviously, obviously there's going to be another location, um, so I think we'll just go and uh, learn Gwent's over in Vizima. All right, so I think we are gonna go ahead and travel to Zima. We have done all we can, I feel like, here. And we could always come back if we need to. If you guys want me to, I will gladly come back. But for now, we can go ahead and make our way back to the Zima and, um, and progress the story and play Gwent. Alright, so here we are, you guys, and I think it's called Crow's Perch or something like that. But, uh, let's go ahead and pick up these... These, uh, notices here. Pick them all. And then I believe we can play Gwent with the blacksmith. Oh wait, here we go, Gwent, looking for new players. <laughs> the Sharper is a Gwent player society based at Crow's Perch. It's looking for new members and opponents. Experience preferred, but will also school newcomers to the game, but not return any coin lost during training matches. For more information, see the club's chairman, Philip Stringer, known as the Bloody Baron. All right, well, I think we'll wait to do that later. Let's go ahead and face off the blacksmith, though. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know what's about to play. How may I assist you? You want to play, little dwarf? You want to play some games? All right, to place a bet, choose a, oh God. Oh God, I got a bet. Let's start with five. Let's do it. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Uh, yes, I do want to begin the Gwent tutorial, yes. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. All right, so I've seen a little bit of gameplay of this, but literally know nothing, so. You will go first, sweet. Choose a card to redraw. Begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use this wisely, use these wisely, okay. Unit card strength. This is a car unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, the value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. All right, makes sense so far. This is the unit's combat row icon. Uh, this icon indicates the row of the battlefield where the card can be played. Close combat, ranged combat, and siege combat. Some unit cards have special abilities. This K Kedowin? She's experts, siege experts special ability is called moral boost, which grants one plus strength to all units in the same row. Well, the cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Okay, so these little symbols are special cards, right? And they reduce the strength of all cards of, 
of all cards of, it, of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Okay. As a start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to play. Round start. Okay. I'm nervous. Here's your battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Okay. I'm thinking poker. Oh, like, I don't know why. I'm just thinking poker. I know it's nothing like it, though. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing square. Alright. Press X to select the card from your hand, and plus X, press X again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn. I'm nervous. Okay. Um. Uh, ranged. Let's go for it. Alrighty, the number on the left by your icon shows your current total strength for all your units, of your units. The number count on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. Alright, easy enough, right? During your turn, you can pass by holding down triangle. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident that you can win with the units you have, you already have in play. Or to let your opponent win, save and save your cards for the next round. Okay, so I should pass when you are confident you can win or to let my opponent win and save the cards I have for the next round. How many rounds are there? The round ends once both players have passed. These players then compare the total strength of the units to determine the winner. All, car all cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' total strength is reset to zero. So I feel like this is kind of a game of luck because you have no idea what kind of strength they have on their side. So you're just putting... I don't know if I want to put all my best cards out there because you want to win every round, right? Opponent's turn. Okay, so all I did was place one card. Okay, so he's putting a two out there. Okay. And a, okay, another two. Oh, see, that's smart. Okay, I didn't even think about that. Adding, multiple, <laughs> adding crazy math. Okay. Um, I'd say, um, let's put a, uh, a five. All right, he's got a 10. Let's put a, a four. He's got all 10 in one row though. All right, I'm, I'm worried I'm not playing this right. Here we go, five. Oh my God, he's already beating me. I'm honestly kind of copying him. <laughs> Look at me. lose I'm literally using all my cards okay let's let's pass I'm gonna lose okay life gems the player who loses a round also loses a life gem the game is over once a player has lost both okay your opponent won yeah all right this is really confusing Okay. 
So I should pass? When I pass, does that mean he has to pass too? Why is he getting to place three? Use leader card. I can't draw any more cards, so I'm fucked. What is this number to the far right? 13 and 26? I have 26, he has 13. What is that? All right, well, I'll use this special cards. Why not? Ooh, cool. It's waning. All right, well, he passed. Dude, I use leader card. I don't know what I just did. I can't do anything. Other than play my special card. Okay, I guess I'll pass. Okay, I think I get it now. I gotta learn how to... I was placing all my cards in one. Like, at one round. So I gotta spread my cards out and know when to pass. Okay. There's no shame in passing, letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high cards, high value cards, immune to the effects of special cards. Okay. Require more powerful cards by like completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Okay. I want to play again. <laughs> I want to win a round. Help me, Ayesha. Now let's play. Can I... Five, five coin. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Yeah. All right. Players use their own customized decks. Use this panel to manage your decks. You can build one deck for each of the four factions. Niffle Guardian, <laughs> Northern Realms, Monsters, and that's a big ass word. Shio, 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 Tail, Shio, Tail, Shio, Tail, whatever. Use L1 and R1 to switch between factions. Each faction features a number of unique cards that encourage a different style of play. Each faction also has a faction perk. All right, so Nif Niffle Guardians wins any round that stands in a draw. So the Northern Realm grants an extra card after every victorious round. Shia Tal, whatever, decides who takes the first turn of a battle and monsters keep a random unit card on the battlefield after each round. Okay, I like the monster idea. I like that. And the Niffle Guardians. Oh, I like all these, actually. <laughs> Except for the Shia... T I don't see the benefit in taking the first turn as much. Okay. Each deck has one leader. Press square to see the leaders available for the currently view viewed faction. Press X to choose the highlighted leader card. Each leader has a unique ability. Use it to turn the tide of a battle in your favor. Leader cards that you do not use, do not own, are locked. They will be available for you to use once you acquire them. Okay, all the cards you own, which can be used with the factions, are shown here. So do I need more cards to play? I think I need more cards. Cur cards currently in this faction deck appear here. A deck must consist of at least 22 unit cards. It can also contain up to 12 special, 10 special cards. You can include more than 22 unit cards in your deck, but remember that doing so de decreases your chances of drawing your most powerful cards. Your deck is currently two unit cards short, as indicated by the red number. You must move two unit cards from your deck, from your collection left side to the faction's current deck, right side. All right, so... You can now exit the deck builder by pressing circle. When in the deck builder, press before match, press triangle to begin playing or circle to quit. Okay. Okay. Now I have 20. Oh, wait, let's move one back. There you go. 22. All right, let's start the game. All right. He goes first because he used the perk. Set the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. All 
Okay, I don't know what that, the redrawing, I don't really get that. Okay, he's playing a two. He's got, okay, so I see the number of cards we both have. He's got nine, I got 10. Okay. Play this smart. What does the frozen do? Playing a three, bitch. Ah, oh, fucking A, dude. I'm not sure what the specials do. Like, how does it affect the win? Does it affect the win at all? Okay, so this will take down my... Oh, okay, okay. I think I understand it. Oh, 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 okay. So he used the frost shit, which... Oh my god, you bitch. I just realized what he did. Okay. <laughs> he used the frost shit and it put my power back to one for each of my cards. They were at like four or five or some shit. You asshole, okay. Can I do the same thing for him? How do I choose where I place it though? How do you know where it will go? Okay, ranged combat. Here we go. For one to both players. Okay, so ranged combat. Here we go, bitch. Now we're even. Right, he's at a three. Let me go ahead. I don't have any fucking shit, bro. This is I'm. We all have once. We're at once right now. We're literally all at once. I'm screwed. I'm fucking screwed. I should have had more siege units. Oh, he's winning. He's gonna win. He's gonna fucking win. Nothing I can do. Okay, let's let's pass, because I'm gonna just waste my cards. He's gonna win by one, you ass. Okay. So from here, he gets to go first, you ass, okay. Go first, bitch. All right, immediately. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so if I do this, let me see. Which one's which? I need close. Siege combat. Close combat. Here we go. So he's only got three. He passed. Good. My turn. Um... Okay, and then I'll pass. There we go, I won. I won a fucking round. Okay, sweet. All the realms faction ability triggered. Yay, I got, I got to draw another card because of my faction. Okay, sweet. Helps me out a little bit. Ugh, sucks. A spy, place your opponent battlefield on your opponent's battlefield counts towards opponent's total. Draw two cards from your deck. Oh, I'll do that. And I get to draw two cards? Fuck yeah. All right, now let's fuck this bitch up. We have... range. That's siege, range. Take that shit. And then I'm gonna place this. 
Oh my god, he's at 13 right now. Fuck. Okay, and then close combat. I don't have any more close combat. What does this one do? Removes all weather cards? Oh no, I don't want to do that. Shit, I think he fucking won again. Fuck. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. He won again. He has, he's out of cards though. He says, siege combat. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm out of eight. Okay, well, I lost. Damn, we did better. At least we won one round that time. But I get it. I understand it. Okay, I understand it. Okay, guys, so. Got my first game of Gwent down. Getting the full Witcher experience now. Uh, from here, I think we're going to go ahead and resume the main story just a little bit. I'll probably finish this one mission that I'm at. Or that I'm on. And then I'll... Um, you know, during the stream, we can explore, do whatever you guys want to do. All right. All right, so where we left off, Siri was last here, actually. And he wants us to find uh, his wife and his daughter. In return, he'll give us the information on Siri. So I don't know if this is the room. Is this the room? Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Ah, okay. So this is actually Siri's room. Good to know. All right. But we got to search the other rooms, right? Bissell. Bissell. Shinami. All right, it's a girl. Hi. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Oh, What else did Siri say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. My friend. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Oh. Ooh, more experience points. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Shouldn't even Didn't say goodbye. Ask where she'd gone. I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. Hmm. <laughs> but Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. <laughs> Watch it. Bissell. Bissell. Shenanacking. Oh. Just going around looting you guys, Venice. searching these rooms. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. 
All right, update it. Use your witcher senses to search the room. Oh, use your witcher senses to locate where the scent is coming from. Okay. And then we have this letter here to Tamara. Oh, what is this? Hmm, damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Okay, so the scent is going this way. Down this way. Wait, let me check the rest of these rooms first. I want to make sure I got everything. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looting all this shit, but I am. <laughs> Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Ah. What have we got here? Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. All right. Deep nicks. <clears throat> Hit with a heavy object. So he abused them. He at least the wife. Right? Is that why she ran, maybe? Maybe she's hiding from them. Huh. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Alrighty. So I believe... We've searched all we can in these rooms. And I think we can just follow... The trail now. The scent. Guardian corpse to me. There we go. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Tails. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. All right, talk to the Baron about where you found. About what you found. Okay. One fucked up face. One fucked up face. <laughs> Done poking around. Uh, found a doll. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you barmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. Resemblance is uncanny as I remember Trix, Triss looks different. Oh, I don't fucking remember. I didn't even look at the doll. I don't, I never play, I don't know who Triss is. I know she's part of the other games, but... Um... 
So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air loose. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you Damn. were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! All right. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. All right, well, off to see the Pella. I have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Alrighty. Find the Peller's hunt. Why? Why does everyone in this game go? <laughs> they all fucking spit everywhere, bro. What is this old west? What's your deal? All right, so now we head to the Peller's hut. Well, all right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video.